Hello, hello, hello. What's happening? What is happening? You are going to be thinking, oh, he's been away for so long. Yeah, I know I have. I, I really haven't been bothered uh, to record recently. Laziness. I, I think I'm going for the uh, road to shore approach um, of uploading. Yes, that's that's it. Um, yeah, I, I just laughed at my own joke. I'm a fat fucking clown. That is a fact. Wow. Um, anyway, jump in. Football Manager episode. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, so we've got a couple of games. The last game you lot saw was against Olympiacos. We've not stopped our winning streak. Well, we did. We had a draw, but we've not dropped points properly as such. We've never actually... Well, we've not lost all three points. I have no idea what I'm on about. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we've actually not lost yet. So, I'll jump into the game with Norwich, or against Norwich, with Norwich. Yeah, we just had a casual kick about with Norwich. It weren't anything important. Anyway, let's jump straight in. Let's get this over with, and then maybe we'll talk. Maybe. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, to start with, we had Maffeo uh, with a throw-in. Whiteman, big cross, straight to Eze or Easy, who was in the form of his life and is probably going to get signed by a big team. Although we said that about Patrick Roberts, didn't we? So, yeah, Maffeo here takes a shot and then a Easy Eze took it away comfortably. Great stuff from us there. We once again won beat Norwich, then we went on to beat Everton with Nemecha and Laporte getting our goals. Um, let's jump in, let's let's go. Also, we had six bookings. We're doing real good there. So, Nemecha steps up with a penalty, our new number 10. I, I did change his number because I thought he deserved number 10. Uh, Patrick Roberts here, big crossing. Laporte at the back post, number 4. Like Vincent Company used to be um, for City. But yeah, he's, he's possibly... I mean, I know we spunked a lot of money on him, but so did City, and look at him, he's something else. I don't know how... Well, I do know how that... That's why he signed for his 200k a week. Um, but he looks like he's definitely worth this, the money so far. Um, we then went on to play against... Borussia Dortmund at home with Patrick Roberts scoring one goal and us scraping through against them. Um, they've got some interesting players playing for them at the moment with Emery Chan playing at left back. Didn't realise he could. Anyway, Castanos here. Back to Maffeo. Maffeo to Garnet. Garnet big chip over to Roberts. And Roberts says, yeah, you know what, fancy that. Famous left foot and all. Bangs it. Absolutely bangs it. Top player. Incredible. Then we went on to somehow beat Manchester City at the Etihad. I've no idea. We did get an injury to Patrick Roberts, unfortunately. But once again, easy or as a popping up two goals. It weren't Roberts that got an injury, was it? Yeah. Roberts got an injury and so did Kick Brespenning. And he hasn't been on since. So it's been a bit shit, but we've had to deal with it, unfortunately. Um but yeah, they've got Diego Jota playing for them. How much did they sign him for? Sixty-four million. Wolves made a right profit off him. He's he's not been bad actually at all, goal wise. They needed someone to replace Sergio, didn't they? Big Sergio Aguero. Who's this? Serginho Dest. I thought he played for a different. I oh, it was eligible for. Um, well, yeah, he was eligible for America and Holland, so why he wouldn't go for Holland, I've no idea. But yeah, anyway, let's jump into the goals and have a look. Like I've said to you, I do think we will be uh, leaving Borough at the end of the season. We win the Champions League, we, we leave. Obviously, if we don't win the Champions League, we, we probably won't leave, but Diego Jota, absolutely insanely good. With big Dale Fry there, uh, obviously not knowing how to defend, but deciding that he's, he's trying to call the shots all the time. Easy gets there with his head. He is something else that way. Incredible. Patrick Roberts here. He was injured. And another another header. 
That is some Mariahs. Where, where's your, your shit at, bruv? He's unhappy. Oh, did City not... City haven't got continental football. What? Where did they finish? They finished fifth last season and third the season before. What? They've still not won a Champions League, which is a surprise because normally they have at this point. Oh, okay. I wish I'd have thought about signing him instead of... Oh, fucking hell. That would have been a good signing. Anyway, we went on to then play against... A hat I've never heard of him before. Moroccan. Well, Moroccan Dutch. Anyway, we went on to play against Liverpool in the Carabao. Um... We scored first, and then obviously we should have probably, probably, probably ended up uh, just finishing it off. But a Hatteran had it, had us good and proper, good and proper. Anyway, Laporte to Taylor, Taylor big ball over, and um, McNair there takes a shot, scores. But then the silver here threads it through to Robinson. Robinson across the box to Hatteran. I think Robinson's a regen actually. But Pepe steps up, scores. I don't know who that Pepe is. Paddy McNair steps up, scores. De Silva steps up. I think he misses actually. Save. Good save from Hendo. And I want to sell him. Jesus. Cruel. Laporte. No danger when King Laporte's in the area. Abby Cater scores. Patrick Roberts steps up. Scores. There was no doubt, I don't think, with Patrick Roberts. Robinson scores against us. McCrory here. Good save. Big Tim Williams. Tim Williams was someone I tried signing, actually. Uh, is that Nico Williams? Anyway, Lookman scores. Puts that away comfortably. Upper Meccano, Big Hendo saves that. Ihatteran steps up. Big Hendo saves that as well. He weren't getting fooled twice, was he? I don't think we actually saw Mafeo's miss there, but anyway, we, we did beat them. Um, four, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, ah, five, four on penalties. With Upper Meccano, De Silva and Ihatteran not scoring for them, is that? No, a region called Pepe. 49 million they paid for him. 49 million for a 19 year old. What the sweet ever living chuff. He was flitting in and out of Atletico's side, wasn't he? But then he went. They must have seen something in him. I have a scout of him. But yeah, oh, they've got big Nathan Ake who's just signed for City, a left back. Uh, Fabio De Silva, Florent De Silva, sorry. Who looks a good player. Um, Abikita G, right, Gareth Robinson. 17 year old. I'll have a scout of him and all. Sportiello, never heard of him. Tim Williams, so they must have sold Allison, maybe? Romantis? Laurentino Luis, who's 24 and they didn't start him. Chris Methan. The Chris Methan. Yeah. What? <laughs> this is a really odd side. Tim Howcroft or Tom Howcroft, young player. Nico Williams, yeah, he's in the youth side now. I think he's played a couple of games. What an odd side. What a bloody odd side. I'm amazed. I, I really am amazed. What what have Liverpool got a lot of players injured maybe, do you think? Or A lot of loan debt. Worth two billion though. 
this is their best side. They've got Allison still, so they didn't bother. So they called up the youth goalie. Metham, Gomez, Ake, Robertson, Juan Bernat, who gets in over Robertson. I don't know why he'd ever sell. Uh, if I sign someone else over him, because he's one of the best in the game, undoubtedly. Dominic Shrubzolai. I wanted to sign him, I think, yeah. He looked a good player, but obviously they don't have the money for him. Ansu Fati's still playing for them. Pepe somehow is not getting in there. Side. They didn't start the last game with a uh, an actual goalkeeper on the bench. Interesting. Very odd little side. And Lorenzo Pellegrini, who was an incredible player on this this year, so he didn't get a a go either. Anyway, we beat them. We drew against Watford. Um, played a different formation actually. Which I shouldn't have. I've been tinkering the formations a bit. Because everyone, everyone loves the 4-2-3-1. I thought, I'll have a crack at it. Doesn't work for me. Everyone seems to have these amazing bloody goes at it. And it always seems to work. But anyway, Felix Nemetra got our uh, game off to a flyer. Scoring a penalty. Billin throwing to Cassidy. Ca uh, back to Billin. Who then crossed it to João Pedro because our defenders can't defend for shit. We need. Uh, we did have Ross McCrory at right back, and can he? He can play anywhere. To be fair, that kid. I will get to Ross McCrory. He's a player and half. Amazing, fucking amazing. Anyway. We played against Watford. We then went on to play against Borussia Dortmund. Uh, getting a casual 2-0 win away from home at the Signal Iduna Park. Ended up scoring two comfortable goals. Paddy McNair and Helder Maria scoring for us. So Paddy McNair with the penalty. Amazing. And then Maria, our boy. Big throw in from Patterson. It drops to the feet of Maria. Maria on a sparkling run. The dancer, look at him, takes a shot, scores. There's no surprise that he's probably the best prospect we've got. He's not stopped playing with us. He scored eight goals last season in 18 appearances. However, he's only got one goal this season. Well, he hasn't. He's got one, two, three. Although it says overall for club, two. Ah, uh, non-competitive. So two in total. So one in Europe and one in the league. I want to put him up top permanently rather than Nemecha. Maybe get rid of Nemecha. He's 21 million rated. He's wanted them. Alaves want him. Can Alaves afford him? That's the question. It's a question you've got to ask yourself, isn't it? Because if they come in with anything less than that, like, I reckon for me, if we, if we say, for example, could sell him for, for 40 million. I'd take it. Um, but anyway, the next game was against Birmingham. We came up against our old boy, Mikey Johnston, who did end up winning us uh, the the league in reality in a lot of ways um, in his first season. He was, he was solid for us on those two seasons, and then obviously we sold him on um, after he, he was very poor. For that season, I suppose he needed a run of games. Unfortunately, we couldn't give him that because we had players like Easy who had just been signed. Probably one of the biggest bargains we were ever going to get. At 7.25 million. I think it's because he wanted to come to us. I can't remember. Anyway, we we did win or did beat Birmingham with the match scoring a penalty, which is getting a common occurrence. And then Maffeo here. Over to Fiorini. Fiorini to Maffeo. Maffeo cross over to Luckman. Luckman getting that header and tucks it away perfectly. So yeah, let's have a look. Um, our tactics, we have been using someone else's to be fair. It's F1 positive, 4 2 3 one clean. But I have moved uh, our actual striker. Uh, sorry, our centre attacking mid down. Um, I reckon I don't like it to be honest. I am just going to go back to 
Where did I download that one from? No idea. 41231. Or Pep's Tiki Taka. We're gonna we're gonna have a crack at this formation for a while actually. It's a bit narrower. Um and we'll see. Why is Derek Moran in the net? It's because Henderson and Shelton are off. Anyway, this has been a 15 minute episode. And obviously I don't get monetized. So it doesn't actually matter how long our episode's going for. We're currently sat at the top of the league. We're unbeaten at the moment. Um, we've had two draws, 10 wins, 32 points in total. We're looking pretty alright. Our transfer budget and stuff is all all in the red. But, you know... What can you do? You gotta, you gotta spend big to win big. You don't really. That is a lie. Um, we do have the best man management and tactical and everything on there is the best in the league. Our coaching team is the best in the league. <laughs> we have twenty-two coaches. There's no surprise we've got the best in the league. What the fuck? I didn't realise we had that many coaches. Oh. Jesus Christ. Our recruitment team is big as well. We've got 26. We could have 22 scouts. I'm going to put ad out for bloody scouts. Get me some scouts and get me a bloody data analysis. Oh, and we can have another sports scientist. So, Great, we can now have another physio as well. Can we? Oh, we can't. No, we can't. I was going to try and see how many staff members we could have. I am going to change one of the responsibilities of the staff, maybe. Who, who hires all the staff? Hiring and firing, yeah. So let's put let's put director of in fact different. For example, do <laughs> I mean this this could end up, you know coming under copyright because I've just had a very tiny clip of Will and E's uh, bloody bloody voice in, in the episode but I somehow doubt it. Can I put in featuring Will and E? Maybe? Will that get me views? Will this get me views? Um, higher and fire. Yeah, right. Let's just set, set all to recommended and confirm that. Yeah, cool. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. We've got a game against Aston Villa. The next episode, which will be out, I can tell you that much, will be Aston Villa, Olympic Lyonnais, West Ham, Olympiacos, Liverpool, Nottingham Forest, Man United, Bournemouth. In fact, we'll go to Brentford as well. We'll, we'll, do, we'll cut the year off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games next episode, hope bloody heck that's a big one uh but yeah we'll sort that hopefully you have enjoyed this guys if you have leave it a like and please subscribe click the bell as well so you're notified when i do upload that'd be great um i do think that me and a friend of mine are going to be releasing a podcast at some point soon no idea how to do that but i reckon reckon i can have a try um but yeah hopefully you have enjoyed that and peace